Um, you know, full credit to Auburn. Auburn, um, you know, they, they've got a really good basketball team, real long and athletic, and they, they um, really got spread out in their zone and caused us a lot of problems. And so full credit to them, I'm, but I'm real proud of our basketball team. Um, we Our record don't indicate everything that we've accomplished this year, but these three seniors here, I have a lot of respect for them and um, bringing our program um, back to where we're, where we're now back on the radar, um, back where we're being competitive in each and every night and showing what Ole Miss basketball is all about. So I have a lot of respect for these three seniors and their buying effect and for our basketball team. Hate that the season's over, um, but, you know, full credit to Auburn and, and, and their coaching staff for um, beating us tonight. Dara? As Coach said, full credit to Auburn. They are a really good basketball team. And I just want to uh, thank my two um, teammates right here, KO and V, just for um, helping me get feel like um, that Ole Miss was a second home to me. I know I wasn't there as long as they were, but the two years I was there, um, I'm glad that I got to be a part of that. And, uh, we didn't come up with the win that we wanted to, but I'm very proud of um, the things that we have uh, accomplished this year as a team. And I know that people are noticing us now, and that's all that we wanted to accomplish, really, that people respect us now, and I know that they do. And I know that next year's team is going to come back, and they're going to be even better, and they're going to be stronger, and I'm going to always be an old Miss Rebel. So um, I'm proud of that. So, Kenyatta? Um, give full credit to Auburn. They out rebounded us, and that's something that we talked about was rebounding. And um, they out rebounded us. I'm just um, watch out, like Dear said, watch out for next year's team because they coming and they're ready. Valencia. Um, I just like to give full credit to Auburn. Like they said, they came out and played a great game. I think we played great too, but we just fell short in the end. We'll go ahead and take questions. The left. About your three seniors and what they've meant to the program and also Valencia's leadership throughout the season. You know, these three seniors, um, when I first got the job, I think it was April when I first got the campus, um, the one thing I ask them is, I know it's your senior year, just, just give it all you have. And um, and I need you guys to, the first part of the stage of getting a full team to buy in, your seniors have to buy in. And um, I couldn't ask for a better group of seniors on and off the floor, the way they led our basketball team, um, the way that they carry their self. And, um, you know, they've got, you know, when they got futures ahead of them, hopefully in the game of basketball. And, and, and I'm going to help them in any way I can. And I just got so much respect for them. And they're the ground floor of what we're building here at Ole Miss. And, um, you know, they're, they're going to come back 10 years from now. And, and um, it's a, a lot of what we're going to accomplish over the next 10 years is going to be a true credit to them. And I'm just real proud of them and glad to be their coach. Um, Valencia McFarland, um, you know, her record won't indicate the impact that she's made on our program. Um, just an incredible, credible player. Um, um, one of the best point guards to ever, um, to one of the better point guards to ever play in this league. I mean, she's, she's put numbers up since she was a freshman and just done a, a, a unbelievable things. I'm real privileged to, I feel real special to be able to coach her, I'll be honest with you, and um, like all three of them. But, you know, I hate that it ended like this for all three of them and just real proud of Valencia for her leadership and her will to continue to fight every single day. And she has a bright future in the game of basketball. The middle. Coach, what, what do you take from these last five to six games? Just the way you finished the season, you had the back-to-back the -back wins, and I mean, you were playing your best basketball at the end of the season. Yeah, um, then, you know that's what you want to do. You you know when you know there's so much that um, when you're re I say remodeling a program, um, there's so much that you have to get accomplished. There's so much that you have to do, and um, you know we we were kind of late getting going the way starting to play the way we played the last five or six games, but I'll tell you the last five or six games we played really really well. Um, if you take out the last eight minutes of tonight's game, we played about as good as anybody in this league over the last five or six games. And I'm real. And I, I, I tell you what I take from it. I take from it. I have three seniors that just kept fighting every single day, and um, that'll be a, something I use in the future with all of our seniors and, and continue to sh um, show them examples of what these three girls have done, and how they continue to bring it every single day, which then motivated the younger players to continue to bring it every single day and not quit on their season. And um, you know, that's this is a. It's not the way we wanted to end. We we came here to win this tournament, and we'll continue doing that, and um, we'll continue this process, and, and great days are ahead because of these three players right here. 
front. Uh, Coach, you had an 11 a point lead at one point in the first half. Mm -hmm. um, even into the second half, you were trading uh, the leads, you know, for, for, for quite a long time. Uh, but when you got down to that final eight minutes, that um, get a stop, get a score drill that you were talking about yeah. wasn't working so well as it was yesterday. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering how much of that was about the amount of emotional energy that was expended on the floor yesterday. You know, it could have had something to do with it. Um, we got some stops in there. Um, we didn't rebound like Kenyatta said. We knew the key to this basketball game was rebounding and keeping Auburn off the, off the boards. Auburn's not a great shooting team, and um, the, but what they are is a great offensive rebounding team. And so they shoot a lot of shots that are outside, but they go get it. And we didn't do a good job of rebounding in that stretch, and which allowed them two and three opportunities. And we did not um, – if we could have kept it at one opportunity like we did for the vast majority of it, then we were getting the stops. Then we went into the other end. I think we scored maybe one basket in the last eight minutes, something like that, maybe two. Um, and got good shots. And, you know, I think a little bit of that came with the wear and tear on your legs. Um, I think a lot of that comes with that. We have a lot of players playing a lot of minutes. And, um, you know, that comes with depth. And, you know, we've got to, you know, we've got to do a good job of, of recruiting um, more players so we don't have to get in this situation in the future where, you know, you got players that are playing 40 minutes and 38 minutes and things like that. And so the 11-point lead in the first half, um, that was, you know, we were playing really, really good basketball, and we continued to play good ball. Auburn came out, and after we got up 11, they came out and hit us back and, and, and had a good run of their own, and we knew that was going to happen. And we continued to play hard and played really well, so I'm real proud of them for playing. And, you know, we're not going to judge our season on what happened in the last eight minutes of this basketball game. We're judging our season on the, prog the prog um, progress that we made throughout the whole year. And we'll we'll look back on this year, and, and Kenyatta and myself and – and um, Dier and Valencia look back um, five or six years from now, we'll probably pop this tape in and all get mad at each other while we're watching it. Um, but we'll pop this one in and, and have a good time. We'll also pop that Arkansas one in and really have a good time. For the younger players, for the players coming back next year, what do you think this tournament experience did and what's kind of the message for them going into the off season? You know, we didn't get to participate in the tournament last year. And coming in it this year, um, you know, it was um, – it really – I really enjoyed the experience because, you know, just walking in the first day for practice and seeing the smile on our players' face, this is something that was taken away from last year that, um, that they that, – you know, when you come play in the SEC, the SEC tournament is something that you really look forward to. And um, to see their smile and, and, and their excitement about playing in this tournament is something that really, really excited me. And, and um, we'll take from this experience now, okay, we've got experience there. And to come in this year without even playing in it last year and to win your first game, it says a lot about these three guys up here. It says a lot about their commitment and, and where they want our program to go. And we'll go back. Um, we got spring break this week, so we – our girls are going to go home. We're going to rest. We're going to get away from each other. It's been a long year for us. And, um, and then we'll, we'll get back together next Monday, and, and we'll begin um, the phases to start next year. And the first thing we'll do is watch the selection show next Monday night, two Monday nights from now. And we'll get used to watching that because that's something we're going to be – that's where we're going with our program. And, and these three girls will be there with us. We'll have a good dinner. And um, maybe Kenyatta will be happy with me if I get some good food over there for them. So.